Hello, veteran known 2 in here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Tales of Symphonia. In this episode, well, I'll go to the hot spring soon enough. Uh, yeah, I want to go to, um, Silveron here. And we're going to end up going back to, uh, Asgard, I believe. I think. What the hell, man? Get, turn around! Go through the... Thingy. Ugh. I hate piloting these things. Tell me I can't fucking land? I should be able to land right there. Whatever. Anyways, yeah, we're uh, I'm still gonna show off some more titles here that we can do at this point. And what's our fault? Oh no. So we actually have people here in Silverant. Mad at the Chosen. And sorry, isn't gonna cut it. And Clutch gonna fall down and go, oh no! And wait a minute, these fake people that were impos that were imposters before are actually gonna defend Colette? What the hell does that have to do with the fucking whatever? Yeah, this scene right here is, uh, well, it's unexpected, at least for me. Yeah, I gotta get Genus out of that fucking cat costume. <laughs> Scene, genus. You need to put on your uh, warlock thing again here. All right. Anyways, the main reason I came here was not for that. Although that scene was pretty nice. Uh, yeah. If you come over here, we'll get another scene with rain. I think.
<laughs> Just hearing Zealous Mac on Rain is kind of hilarious because Rain is like the most asexual female probably in this game. <laughs> Solus is in love. <laughs> it's because they don't know what she's really like. And Rain obtained the title of Maiden. And it's probably not that. Yeah, it's as far as uh, stats go, it's probably not that good. But that's her costume for it. Not really a big deal. Much rather have uh, Grand Healer on her or something to that effect. Actually, this one's probably... Uh, actually, I don't remember which one is better. Professor or Grand Healer? Whatever. Probably Grand Healer. Anyway. Let's go back to uh, Tethyala and go to the hot spring. I think I, in a previous episode, I think a while ago I stopped by and they said it was closed, but it should be open now. So let's go there. Also, one thing I need to mention, at this point, in the story uh, where the um, the final party could actually shift depending on your choices at Flanor, Flanor Doctor Scene, uh, you definitely want to get these side quests out of the way now with Zalos because after a certain point you won't be able to do them. So I'm doing it now so if you are one of those people that had Kratos uh, talk to Lloyd at Flanor for that previous Doctor Scene. You definitely want to do these side quests now, a lot of them, like these titles and stuff, or else uh, they become unavailable. Alright. <laughs> Why not? It would be fun. Oh, man. Bummer. Anyway, Zealous has a bright idea. So who's going to enter this time? This time the, the females are going to go in.
<laughs> right, I wouldn't be able to resist. It's funny how that uh, that wooden barrier thing there has like a peephole in it. I think, I, yeah, isn't that a peephole I see right there? Damn straight. Maybe for sale I'll have a nice figure someday. <laughs> I'm like an ironing board. <laughs> and Sheena obtained the title of Wowza, or Wow. Oh, what the hell, Lloyd? Great, great to fucking spoil it now. So, yeah, I like how Zealous runs off after Lloyd blows it. <laughs> Zealous. Look at Zealous over there in the background. He's just loving it. <laughs> and Lloyd obtained the title of Peeping Tom. It's a misunderstanding. I'm not a pervert. It's all right, buddy. We're all perverts. Ah, uh, yeah. Good stuff. I love it. So, yeah, they had a similar uh, scene in Tales of Fantasia, I think, right? The hot spring. Pretty good stuff. I like it. Anyway. Need to check to see if there's anything more I can do at this point. I think there's one more title I can get. Although, yeah, I gotta, I gotta look it up. Alright, the next quest that I'm gonna be doing is something we can do in uh, Luin, I believe. And I believe you have to have it uh, rebuilt at this point, like, completely. So what we want to do is we want to come over here and talk uh, to some old man by a boat or something like that. Or maybe, wait a minute, not an old man, maybe this guy. Three thousand? Sure. Why the hell not? <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, there you go, Zelos. Yeah, I'll take it. Tricked us? What do you mean? I for oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it is. 
Yeah, remember way back in like part 20 something when we got that letter from Lila and there was this other guy in Izul that was in love with this chick and she's searching for her Ifrit or whatever. Yeah, we're finally do, uh, doing something with that now. It's been like, yeah, like 80 parts or some shit since we did that. Or maybe even more than that. Fuck. Might have been in the in the teens. Anyways, once we do that, uh, we either have to leave and come back in or we have to go somewhere else to do something. I don't know. I gotta check real quick here because I just can't remember what the hell I just read. Alright, apparently we're supposed to go back in and talk to the guy again. I don't know if he's going to be in the same location. He might be. Oh, there he is again. Hey, buddy. You tricked us. Yeah, they're absolute until you fucking rip them in half. Come with me on an adventure across the seven seas. Now, what are you talking about, dude? I'm searching for the legendary treasure left behind by Spiritua. Help me find that. I'll give you that boat. Uh, okay. Whatever. It's breaking out the dwarven vows again, which is ridiculous. Again, I, w I wonder if they're ever going to actually tell us how many dwarven vows there are. How many of these fucking dwarven vows did Lloyd have to have to memorize as a kid. I mean, hell, I mean, it was already told in a, in a, a skit earlier that, um, you no, know, unless Lloyd memorized these dwarven vows, he didn't eat. Dirk would starve his ass. That's crazy. It's an application to become a pirate. Arr. Lloyd's pirate costume, nice. Actually, it looks pretty cool. Whatever, you're one to talk, Solos. You're the one wearing a pink shirt. Check the Houses of Salvation, okay. So we gotta go around to a whole bunch of Houses of Salvation? Whatever. That doesn't sound so bad, I guess. Why am I taking the long way out of town? I could have just taken... oh well. We do get something good out of this besides a couple titles. We get one of the best headgears in the game. So uh, it's it's worth doing this side quest.
I don't know if you have to do this in a particular order, or what the deal is, but let's check all this shit out. Yeah, you can no longer go to the uh, those seals in this world, which is fine. I don't need to go there anyways. Okay. Hopefully we don't have to go to Tethaeala's house of uh, salvation as well. Hopefully it's just the ones here. Stay. Oh. Again, I'm not sure if you gotta do these in a particular order, I don't think it matters. So that's another house of salvation. Where's the next one at? I think there's only three of them. Although I could be wrong about that. Um, that's impossible, dude. Or woman? Is that a woman? I can't even tell. Thoda Island Boat Dock. Okay. There's a House of Salvation over there? Or were we already there? I don't know. Friggin' wild goose chase. So we either have to go back here again or we actually go to the friggin' boat dock. I don't know. Yeah, we already have spirits of statue, blah blah, whatever. Oh, wait a minute. It's, yeah, it's gotta be this one.
so where the fuck is he? So is he here, or do you gotta ride the fucking boat? It's like the boats don't even work anymore. Or the wash tubs, I should say. Oh, never mind. And we get Spirits' ring. Alright. Alright, back over by Hema. Because this is the, uh, the next area we need to be. Apparently Eifried is uh, hanging around this area now, instead of Lewin. For whatever reason. Hey guy. Yeah, give him the fucking letter that we've had for the last 90 parts. So I want to assume that Lila is going to be in Izul, but I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, he probably doesn't want anything to do with her ass. So I guess we are going to Izzuld next. Alright, back in Izzuld. Where the hell are you, Lila? I think she actually hangs around in this house, doesn't she? Most of the time? Yeah.
Uh, yeah, you got swindled. Holy crap. We don't have that kind of money. Yeah, that's what I just said. Damn straight, you better buy this from us. <laughs> yeah, a shit ton of money. You are now a rich bitch. So saddle up with some poor sap and make his life happy for the rest of his life. This bitch is dumb. Okay, I just had to check one last thing. There's only one more thing to do here. We gotta talk to Max. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we didn't do a damn thing. Alright, we get Eifred's, Eifred's hat, however you say that, which is actually one of the best headgears in the game. Let's take a look. Yeah, a lot of characters can equip it, well, the males can equip it, and apparently I got a trophy for playing 100 hours, but whatever. What the, what the hell? What the hell just happened here? Oh, yeah, as you can see, 21 defense, 12 intelligence. The only thing I would say that's not very good about this headgear is it doesn't, like, you know, uh, resist any elements, but still, it's probably the best headgear you can get in the game as far as defensive power and uh, intelligence boosting. So, it's really good. That's all for this episode of Tales of Symphonia. In the next episode, I think we're going to advance the plot because I'm done with side quest stuff. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.